And I don't know what you tell the people that live at the southern border. I guess they better arm up and get guns and be ready. And maybe they're going to have to start taking matters into their own hands. It should never happen. These people should never make this dangerous journey here. Let me go back to this statement that Laura Trump made. Laura Trump on Fox News basically said people need to start taking matters into their own hands as it relates to what's happening at the border. She cited Biden has been a failure. And I want you to remember something because this is quite staggering to think about. She's advocating for American citizens to kill undocumented workers. Now remember the prerequisite to killing someone is that your life is actually in danger or the life of somebody else is in danger. So she is literally promoting murder on Fox News. Now she has not been censored by Fox News. Fox News has not come out and said her statements were inappropriate. But she is telling people in the United States of America, American citizens to kill brown people who are seeking an opportunity to survive. Now here's what's interesting about this entire debate as it relates to immigration policy. You know the federal law that says you cannot work in America legally without being documented? And how we penalize factory workers by arresting 600 and 700 at one time. And you see this visual of them being arrested because the authorities have alerted the local media to make sure you capture these individuals who are simply trying to work, you capture them on camera. Okay, the same federal law that makes it against the law for undocumented workers to work in America is the same federal law that also makes it illegal to hire them. How many times have you seen a CEO, a COO, a hiring manager, human resources director being arrested at the same time? The same federal law connects. Let me read this from Cornell Law School. Making employment of unauthorized aliens unlawful in general. It is unlawful for a person or other entity, A, to hire or to recruit or refer for a fee for employment in the United States. An alien knowing the alien is unauthorized, is an unauthorized alien as defined in subsection H3 with respect to such employment. That's the federal statute. That federal statute says it is a federal crime to hire undocumented workers. But you do not see the emphasis placed on the rich folks that provide the employment opportunity. 88% and some stats have it as high as 92% of undocumented individuals that come to America, they come to America to find employment. That's why they come to the United States in the first place. But American policy and the narrative in the media and the discussion amongst many in the political hemisphere will not talk about the rich people who bring them here or who attract them here. And let's stop calling them illegals. Because there is no person illegal, period, on this planet, nowhere. To chop it up with me and to break down some of the news of the day, I have none other than Farron Cousins, host of Ring of Fire and a TYT partner, my big homie. What's going on, brother? Thank you for having me. Thanks for being on Indisputable. Um, I do have a clip from Laura Trump, but before I get to that clip, I want you, I want to get your reaction to the fact that you just had a person advocate for the murder of undocumented individuals coming to the United States of America. It's terrifying. I mean, you know, I, I did a segment on this clip as well today, just because it's one of those things that you you, you ask yourself, did she, did she really go out there and say these things? And I look, the clip speaks for itself. And 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 she threw in a word, and I'll, I'll talk about this after the clip, after you show the clip, but she threw in one word, one word that may that's the key word there, prevent her from being in trouble for what she said here. Um, and again, I'll tease that out a little more after they show the clip. But yeah, I mean, is this incitement to violence? Uh, by the letter of the law, yes, it appears to be so. Um, and, and, but but overall, it's just disgusting. And this is what the Republicans have been doing for a long time now, ever since Biden took over, trying to paint the border as some uncontrollable, you know, uh, catastrophe. Ted Cruz has been pushing it with his little trips down there. But really, it, it's no different <laughs> than what we saw for the last four years. We have, you know, Customs and Border Patrol is down there arresting people. They're throwing them in detention centers. We're deporting people. Uh, so I don't understand 
why Republicans were cool with it for four years. And suddenly now Biden's doing the same thing. And now suddenly it's not good enough. It's just, it's all talking points, it's all fluff. These people don't know what they're talking about. And that's why you end up with stupid talk from people like Laura Trump that could easily end up getting somebody killed. Yeah, let's go to that clip. And I don't know what you tell the people that live at the southern border. I guess they better arm up and get guns and be ready. And maybe they're going to have to start taking matters into their own hands. It should never happen. These people should never make this dangerous journey here. Yeah, uh, that's the statement. And I think maybe you're pointing to um, the, the way she contextualized it by, by almost just insinuating rather than flat out telling people to do so. Uh, which, by the way, is just one of those cold things yeah. that people like her do. Yeah, it, 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 she knew what she was saying there because it was the word maybe. You know, maybe this may have to happen if it meets this certain set of circumstances. I, I know she, she had to have known the way she was phrasing that to get her point across, but also to avoid, you know, possibly any kind of legal liability for that specific statement. Because she's not, you know, she didn't explicitly say, you have to go shoot people, but telling them to arm up and you may have to take matters in your own hands, we, we can pretty much go ahead and assume the meaning of that phrase. Anybody is gonna know the the dog whistle really that she is blowing there. But in a court of law, that word maybe might be the only thing that keeps her out of trouble. And you know, I, I would love for somebody to test this in a court of law. I would love to see some kind of punishment for these reckless, irresponsible and downright dangerous comments that she made. I would love to see if her defense would stand up in court if they try to argue that the word maybe, you know, somehow prevents her from actually having incited any kind of violence. We've seen the kind of violence that the Trump supporters are capable of doing. We have seen it for far too long. And, and she knew who she was talking to with that clip, I have no doubt. Absolutely, and look at the procession here. You have places like Texas passing laws that will allow anyone to basically have a gun without a permit. You have this uh, this new push for individuals to this just arm themselves for some reason, right? And then you have the commentary of let's start killing undocumented individuals being promoted by an actual employee. She's a contributor for Fox News and there is no penalty from this organization, no penalty from the company of Fox. Nobody comes out and says this person should never say anything like this. And because of that, we are going to now fire her. So you don't have repercussions, you do not have accountability. And here's what will happen next, brother. You will see other Republicans, other Trumpites, they will pick up on this messaging and they will start to self promote it in their silos. And that is what we've seen time and time again. You have a, an extreme statement being adopted by what is now becoming the mainstream of the Republican Party. Those that Trump, those that are loyal to Trump and not to a Republican agenda only. And we've seen so many over the years, these extremist groups, you know, the, the, the Minutemen militias yeah. that go down there patrolling the border, just looking for a reason to get violent with anybody that they see crossing the border. And this is the kind of message that people like that have been waiting to hear from somebody that they admire and respect. And Laura Trump, by virtue of being a Trump, is one of those people. You know, the, the judges right now that are hearing the cases for the Capitol rioters, uh, I think you've had at least four or five different ones right in their opinions. This dangerous rhetoric coming from Donald Trump and coming from other folks as well, obviously, it's going to lead to more violence. You know, not just with the, the election being stolen, but things like this as well, because these judges are looking into the eyes of these Capitol rioters, of these Trump supporters. And they're sizing them up pretty quickly. And they understand that this is the kind of person that is easily manipulable. Yeah. They, they hear something, they take it as a direct order and they go do it without question. That is the danger that we are facing with these Trump supporters. And that's why these comments from Laura Trump are, are even more disgusting than what you usually get from Fox News because we have seen how easily those supporters can be manipulated with just the tiniest little push. 
and 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 that's what we could easily see from this as well.